Yeah, I don't want to go to jail for anything. I'm much too, like, weak. And you're pretty. You are listening to the Stand Up Dads Podcast. This is heck of boring. Yeah, it is. Let's try again. Valentine's Day <laughs> with Stand Up Dads. With Rob. <laughs> And Mike bringing you tales of love, <laughs> preparing for that most magical day of the year. <laughs> Unless you don't have someone, and then uh, it's a sad day to tell you much. you're alone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's me, and, it's me and Kiki. Uh, hey, yeah. Kiki. Are you my Valentine? She's like, feed me. Oh, that Jesus Christ actually reminded me. Nick said, oh, remember the swear jar? That's right. That or, is. Or so, if you bring up the one that shall not be named, yeah. uh, it's a buck in the swear jar. And apparently I say Jesus Christ a whole fucking lot. So, okay. So Nick's the one that, okay, found the thing for you. So you so. just said it. But we'll say it from now on, now that yeah, we know exactly. it. So okay. we'll keep a tally. Unless the topic happens to be the one that shall not be named. There's no way for it to not, although I enjoy calling it that because... It's part of, of the fucking story. I yep, know. Yep. He uh, who shall not be named. But you know what? There was nothing said about side characters, so I should be able to talk about... No. It's happy the whole Voldemort genre. Day. No, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> no anyway, there has to be clarification. We are talking about <laughs> Valentine's Day, you fucking <laughs> prick. Uh. You know, this is, this is how... I approach life, unfortunately, is all these loopholes. And yesterday when I was dropping Olivia off, yeah, she was talking about one of her friends who's like, she's like, she's so rigid. She just, she, she just follows every, every rule. I go, oh, so you, uh, you like to break the rules? She goes, no. <laughs> and I go, but you like to bend them, huh? She's all, yes. <laughs> and I go, oh, you're your dad's daughter. <laughs> But she was, uh, like, offended, like, no. I go, but you like to bend them, right? And, like, kind of see what, you know, yes. I'm like, yep. Yeah. Spirit of the law. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so we're talking about Valentine's Day. It's coming up. This comes out, like, the Sunday before Valentine's Day. Yes. Which is on a Friday this year. Yeah, and I just figured that out. Yeah. yeah well, that it's next lucky week. for you, you don't have to. I have to get something for you're Kiki. You're not dumb enough to <laughs> make plans for no, no, there won't be any. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to like date and say, will you be my Valentine? <laughs> yeah, since my wife doesn't listen, I've got it already planned for a dinner on Valentine's. And then, oh, she that. doesn't listen. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, she okay. listens once in a while. Okay. But she won't listen to this in time, I don't think. Okay. And then that night I'll tell her, hey, we're going away. So, not, I'm not leaving her. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you said we're going away. Yeah, Unless I'm taking like, the boy and, and the cat. Me and, me and Owen. Fuck off. <laughs> we're going away. Oh, where are we? Happy I'm Valentine's excited. Day. Oh, you're not coming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Owen and I are going to Legoland. <laughs> Y'all, best Valentine's ever. <laughs> no, you will pay for this. But yeah, no, <laughs> we're going to Fort Bragg. Where is so, Fort Bragg? It's up just north of Mendocino. Mm. Uh, like I've Northern California, it's fucking gorgeous. Is it there. on the coast or yeah, is it? It's right ah. on the coast. So got a place right on there, which is nice. That's nice. Yeah, it's like how romantic. Not at all, because we're gonna have our kid with us, and, oh. and I'll be there, so it won't be very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> do the thing that nobody, that no one, everyone says not to do. Just bring him a iPad and headphones and throw them at him. It's Go a, in there. Go yeah. in the room, boy. We need some time. Yeah. <laughs> It's a four-hour drive, so he's going to have headphones and an iPad. Yeah. Because fuck that. Yeah. I think we went the first two and a half years, Olivia had no TV and no movies. Mm -hmm. And then we did one trip to the Monterey Aquarium yep. from here. And it That's was a good, a good three, th three hours, hours yeah. three and a half hour drive there and back of complete screaming yeah. at the top of her lungs so that by the time I came back, I was like, she's going to get something. She, she's going to, from now on, yeah. wherever we drive, I, it broke me. Yeah. By the end, I was like, I would break I'm anybody. Gonna, <laughs> I'm going to drive off a cliff. <laughs> I'm going to get there yeah. and drive right into the ocean and kill us all. <laughs> yeah. Know. That was oh. crazy. Well, with a theme of driving into the ocean to kill us all. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I can't think of a better comic to talk about that than Lewis Black. Yeah. <laughs> so here's him talking about Valentine's Day. 
As I've uh, grown older, each year I've dropped holidays from my calendar that I don't think apply anymore. And this year, I'm proud to say that I dropped Valentine's Day. Yeah. Now, let's get it clear things up. I'm not saying we shouldn't uh, have a holiday of love. Just that in fucking February! It doesn't belong there. It does not belong there. And if you ladies want this holiday because it's your holiday, we're not going to even argue about that, are we? Because if you don't realize that men don't give a shit about it, and they don't, and if your husband is telling you that he does, then you have tortured him like some kind of prisoner of war. <laughs> husband, boyfriend, yeah, everyone, yeah. It's totally made up. It's holiday. February. <laughs> no. The holiday doesn't belong in February. When should we celebrate it? In the spring! <laughs> when a man can feel his nuts again. <laughs> <laughs> February is miserable. Not here. It's February. It's the most depressing month of the year. How do we know that? because we made it shorter and it still seems fucking longer. <laughs> Sometimes it's endless. Why would you pick the most depressing month of the year to remind many people they're alone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, calendar. <laughs> it's going with a six lonely Six weeks girl. after Christmas. <laughs> really? Are you kidding me? I Didn't like I just that. buy you like a, a splendid no. pile of shit? <laughs> I spent months putting it together, going to specialty stores. I got online, went to the mall to make sure you got everything your little heart desired. And I wrapped. Each and every one of them, because I didn't want to have that fucking argument again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a, 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 a present unless you wrap it <laughs> separately. You said they were the nicest gifts you'd ever received. You said. It was the most wonderful Christmas of your life. And now, <laughs> six weeks later, That's the you have the balls to come to me and say, it, it wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it is true. Like, what is enough? He's what not is enough? Yeah. Jim Jeffries does a bit about Mother's Day. And his whole thing is, okay, how much is it going to cost me to make you not be a bitch to me today? <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't put it here because it was Mother's Day. Yeah. Maybe this Mother's Day you'll hear that bit. <laughs> yeah. If you're, I don't know, I'm like torn on it because I don't mind it because I like going out. Yeah. You know, believe it or not. But, you yeah. know, because I like Fort Bragg, so it's a treat for me too. I'm not, yeah. you know, notice I'm not going to like a bachelorette convention or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, You're not just going for a shopping day somewhere. Exactly. Yeah, let's go to this fancy mall. Yeah, yeah. I like it out there. Yeah. So, and they have a shop that does mushroom flavored ice cream. Is that good? It's not bad. It's not bad. I see. How I love sad mushrooms. to say it's not. It's not bad. No, it's not. I mean, I I like mushrooms more than I like the mushroom flavored ice cream. What that has to do with fucking Valentine's Day, I have no idea. But, but you want to get it no matter what because no. it's just there? Or no, you just... Kim ends up getting it and she hates mushrooms, which is funny. But she likes the ice cream. She likes the ice cream. Hmm. But anyway, it's just, it's a cool little place. It's yeah. a nice drive. It's a beautiful drive. Part of it, uh, yeah. part of it just sucks. Yeah. Yeah, four hours you're bound to find something nice in California unless you're driving on five. Anyway, yeah. there's a Valentine's Day survival guide that I will be posting. I'm not going to go into all this crap. 
because if you can't figure it out yourself, good fucking luck. Yeah, but, and no matter what you do, it's not going to be right. <laughs> yeah, well, no. It's always easier, like, at the beginning. Mm. But one of the things that they did bring up that I thought was hilarious that I had to bring up here yeah. was don't expect romance after dinner. Because <laughs> a lot of these places, like... You yeah, know, you get all stuffed. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. And it's like, all right, you want to do it? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why I want to take I... a dump and a nap. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd I get the bula base? Yeah. <laughs> Why'd I get uh oh. So they're like they you know, pretty much they're saying if you're gonna do uh-huh. it, see if you can work it out so that you Shepherd's either have pie was a mistake. Yeah. This is all either have you know, the yeah. meal be the last thing of the day yeah. or try and get busy earlier mm-hmm. when the kids are in school. Have sex before <laughs> the dinner. Exactly. There you go. There, you know, they say things like try something different, try something new, celebrate something you guys both like. Uh-huh. You know, because if you're doing just what she likes, you're going to be fucking miserable. She's going to tell, and then you're yeah. going to have a shitty day. It doesn't matter how much you spend on it. Yeah. You know, and have a backup plan in case something fucked up happens. Yeah. I know uh, Melissa usually does, like, a really nice Valentine's little breakfast set up for mm-hmm. Oli. Nice. Um, I'll probably take Oli to go do something, you yeah. know. Yeah, Kim's um, good with Owen. Like, she'll give him, he'll, she'll give him like, um, strawberry milk or something. Yeah. And stuff like that. Just yeah. pink things. Yeah, I don't know what about is he into it as much because I know Oli loves it, lo- loves Valentine's. Um, that. He's starting to. Yeah. Um, and our next episode, we'll be talking about crushes because apparently that's starting up now. Mm. Uh, so he's getting an interest and in, like he's asking me about Cupid and stuff lately. Yeah. Hey, mainly because they're talking about that for in school because yeah. Valentine's Day is like a few days away. Anyway, then there uh, is Aisha Tyler. Uh, she does. Uh, Whose line is it anyway now? She's the uh, yeah. host. She took over Drew Carey's spot. Yeah. Who took over, fuck, I can't remember the British guy's name. But I used to watch that when I was a little kid. Yeah. Whose um, line is it anyway was great. Nigel something. Yeah. Or I guess yeah. all old British guys were named Nigel. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, here's Aisha talking about Valentine's Day. When She's not a fan. You have to do shit, though. Have you noticed that? Like when you're like when you're married or you're in a serious relationship, like think about it. when you first start dating somebody, like you're just happy to be together, you know. And like if they give you a present, you're so happy. Oh look, you gave me a coupon for a hug. That's <laughs> 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 so cute. I love you. Right? You're married. You're like, man, it is my birthday. Where is my shit? <laughs> Give me that raggedy ass coupon bullshit. <laughs> want some fucking money. Some diamonds or something. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you have to do stuff. Valentine's Day, right? Valentine's Day, you have to fucking do Valentine's Day. I know that's like a big kind of chick holiday, but I, I don't. I, fuck Valentine's Day, man. Fuck that day. Yeah. I hate it. I hate it. Because, you know, it's, it's always fucking disappointing. It's never as romantic as you want it to be, right? Guys always fuck it up. <laughs> it's not your fault. You can't help it. You're gonna, there's no way you can get it right. It's too much pressure, right? And you forget and you show up with some fucking, like that little stupid fucking teddy bear that clips on your shirt and shit. I love you very much. Get the fuck away from me with that bullshit. <laughs> you're gonna sit in a fucking gas station? What's wrong with you? Don't you fucking it's make like, a all, note all next year. Left, which I get up last night. Yep. <clears throat> That's from Walmart. There's so much pressure there. on it to be like a perfectly romantic day, you know, when all day you're looking at each other like, meow. <laughs> I am going to hurt your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> right? And you have like a nice meal and like the chocolate covered strawberries and the champagne and an hour later you're like, <laughs> 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 oh, what was in that cheese? Good Lord. <laughs> I don't know, honey. Something's definitely wrong. Oh, was that me? I apologize. (laughs) It ain't gonna happen tonight, baby. I will get you on your birthday, I promise. Oh, I'll write you a coupon for some good shit for your birthday. Uh, thank you, Aisha. <laughs> that reminds me. There was a show called Yes, Dear years ago. And I think I remember that. Who was on that one? I can't remember yeah. the names, but 
like one of the guys fucked up and didn't get a card for his wife. I think it was for Valentine's Day. Yeah. And like they were sold out. And all they had was like the big ass display one that's like five feet wide. Oh. <laughs> and it was hanging from the ceiling. And he was like, sell me that one. I'm like, no. <laughs> and he like tried to steal it and all this nonsense. Because <laughs> that's what you get when you're a fucking idiot. Yep, but, the last minute. But there is all that pressure. Yeah. And there's no way to stand up to it. There's like, you know, you're graded on planning. You're graded on the gift itself. Yeah. And the thing is, if we don't get shit, we don't care. Yes. <laughs> it's like, all yeah. right. I didn't get you anything this year. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Christmas was six weeks ago. I wonder six weeks if ago. that's like a male and female thing or if that's just a personality thing. Like, I wonder if there's. I'm sure there's guys that, that also don't care and there's guys that care. Yeah. Well, obviously, she doesn't care. Yeah. yeah I that's think true. Women, yeah. Because I know I don't even care like birthdays or Christmas. Yeah, you know, like either. it's like whatever. Like, huh. I, you cared when you were a kid, you know? Well, all the women that. Don't care about Valentine's Day. I already have girlfriends, oh. and all the men that do care about Valentine's Day I already have boyfriends. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but here's a comic named Thor Ramsey. Yeah, talking about the pressure of Valentine's Day. Now, last uh, last Valentine's Day, I sent my wife a thing in Telegram, which is probably a a, a bad idea. Which and I was Valentine's <laughs> Day, they folks. Still had that. Yeah. Uh, uh, first of all, I just Val- I think I can speak for all men. When I say Valentine's Day is, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, ah, it's, a, it's such a pressure-filled holiday. It's not. It's any other holiday, or not, it's not even. Ho- if I want to give my wife a surprise, it's a uh, surprise because she doesn't know. She, so I can surprise. You know, no pressure. But Valentine's Day is like, okay, you know, okay, go make me happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait here. Shoo, shoo. Go make me happy. Yeah. Go buy me something. I'll the wait here. Like, Come on. Shoo, 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 shoo. Yeah. That's the worst. Be funny. And then even I if know. you try, it's still hard. When you try, you know, you're like, you know, a call up a florist. Hey, uh, give me a, give me your best uh, arrangement for like 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Like, hey, honey, how'd you like your seats? <laughs> yeah. Great gift giver. It's so expensive. That just got you thinking like... Because I found that the best gifts were experience stuff. Yeah. So instead of giving them things, which yeah just ends up cluttering and you forget about it. And even if it's nice jewelry, they've already got nice jewelry yeah. usually. Unless I usually the, make stuff. Well, I would make cards. Yeah. Like I still make stuff for old. See, if I, was, card, yeah. if I was a chick dating you, I'd be pissed. I'm like, don't fucking write me a card. That <laughs> took you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you can do this in your sleep. <laughs> Fuck you. Go do something else. It's a challenge. <laughs> Fucking make me a dress. I'll be impressed. Make a dress? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Jesus. Make me a hat. Fucking something. Because, you know, it's like, you could have whipped this out five minutes before you saw me for all I know. They don't know. <laughs> it's better than the cards at the store. The cards at the I, store. Well, at least the card at the store, you had to make a trip. This one, you just... <laughs> You make it. It's not easy to make a car to make it good. I'm just not saying. just like a yeah, like you're drawing it and, and yeah. It I posted one. um like you drew on um, Owen's wrapping paper for his birthday. Yeah, yeah, that was fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was really pretty damn cool. Yeah, but at the same time, you I saw th- that Nick made fun of it too. Like, Did he? Yeah. Oh yeah, he made fun of one of them. No, because it was Harry Potter. Maybe. Yeah, you owe a buck to the no, jar. You, I can no, say it all you I don't. want. No, nope, you can't. You know. <laughs> I know you tried to set me up. <laughs> you, you owe a buck fuck yourself. to the jar. <laughs> no. If you and once it's said, it can be said for the rest. No, of the it cannot. Episode. <laughs> and you're wearing a Hogwarts shirt and everything. Th- this is true. Jesus Christ. But anyway, as far as like the <laughs> gifts. I'll just um, make you say it every episode instead. Yeah, great. <laughs> Everyone will think I'm all weird So I can Harry say Potter. Jesus Christ all I want. You can. Mm, okay. Exactly. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I almost said it right there. Uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, seriously, thinking like the most successful gifts were, you know, the experience stuff. Um, here's yeah. Here's a guy, Kellen Erskine, talking about... A gift he got his significant other. Yeah. I ordered my wife one of those edible arrangements fruit bouquets. <laughs> Is what I'm talking about? It's cool. It's a, it's a nice thing. But I want to get in on that business model. Because I paid $70 and I didn't even think twice about it. I was like, oh, that sounds right. It's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Their profit margin is probably amazing. It's fruit. What's their overhead? Like, a product should cost as much as the materials plus 
the skill required to assemble them, right? For $70, I could buy a printer. <laughs> that makes sense. I don't know how to make a printer. <laughs> Fruit bouquet, on the other hand, uh, after quick analysis, pretty easy to reverse engineer that thing. <laughs> there was maybe like collectively half a pineapple cut into heart shapes on sticks for the, what I gave my wife. Seventy dollars. My wife loves fruit. Next year, seventy bucks. I'm just gonna give her like forty pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> Those are pretty ridiculous. That is edible fucking really. 70 bucks for... Edible They're arrangement. cool looking. Yeah, and then the saddest thing about it is I think that's another chain. So oh, if yeah. you buy one, you're paying hella money yeah. to then go and try to charge. So that's basically what they're trying to... That's they have to charge so much to pay the... Although on the other side, yeah. it's they got a... Fruit goes bad. Mm-hmm. So it's not like they can just sit on it and... If you don't want to go edible arrangement, we got Mikey Winfield, who's a Sacramento comic. Yeah. Made it, who's gone on to bigger and better things. Talking about his ideas for gifts on Valentine's Day. All day trying to figure out love, it ain't making sense, man. I, Valentine's Day throwing me off because I messed up last year and went to Victoria's Secret. Mistake. <laughs> I grab a bra, put, a, uh, put it on the counter. You know how you walk and you're like, there's no way this could be the actual price. <laughs> 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 and she confirmed it was $65. I'm like, what does it do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. I'm like, what you going to do, man? You ain't paying for this. Get out of this situation. <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing clever, man. I just moseyed away from the counter like this. <laughs> <laughs> moseyed my ass out to J.C. Penny. <laughs> 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 $8. Y'all ain't even hear me. $8 for the bra and the panties. <laughs> it came on the same hanger. <laughs> and it was beige. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> you think I care? You think she gonna walk in the room with it and I'm gonna be like, wait a minute. Is that from panties? I can't go through with this. <laughs> So look at this, on my mosey out, the panties. How much are the panties, ladies, at Victoria's Secret? Like, how much? It's like 20, yeah. The ones I saw was $23.99. Now, let's say I would have spent 65, that's like 80 something dollars plus tax. <laughs> if I spend that much, I can't even enjoy the sex. <laughs> <laughs> she trying to be cute, twirling it, stretching out all the fabric. <laughs> like stretching it out. Throwing it, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> Clay does it like a baby. <laughs> you better take care of this nice shit. <laughs> I spent $85 plus tax on this. You wearing this again tomorrow. <laughs> you might as well consider this a uniform. <laughs> <laughs> Should I spend that much? I'm wearing it too. <laughs> <laughs> That's hella funny. And then our final take with an idea for gifts is a guy named Russ Menevy. Thank you. Thank you. I like where this crowd is coming from. You guys are good moods. Unfortunately, I'm not with you. I just had a bad breakup. Yeah. I broke up with this girl uh, by email. Is that a bad way to do it? I don't know what made her more mad. The fact that I did it by email or the fact that I CC'd my new girlfriend who wanted proof <laughs> of the breakup. But I'm kind of a lonely guy. I didn't have a Valentine's this year. My buddy had two. I mean, that one friend who gets a Valentine's Day gift for their mother. Doesn't that freak you out a little bit? I was like, dude, two gifts? She's like, yeah, one's for my mom. Oh, great. Look, I don't know how to break this to you, but uh, I heard she's banging your dad. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's just creepy. Uh, but whatever you choose to do, I hope you have a good Valentine's Day. Yes. I've got for our bad dad. It's a bad parent, actually, or a group of them. It's a Valentine's Day love story. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's seen this in the news, but I just saw this, and I've been keeping track of it. Apparently, police say the mother of two missing kids has been found in Hawaii along with her new husband, 
but there's still no sign of the children in cross-country adve- investigation that That's includes awful. several mysterious deaths. Yeah. So this woman, uh, Lori Vallow, and some guy named Chad Daybell, they got pulled over, and uh, there's no sign of her 7-year-old son and 17-year-old daughter. Jesus Christ. They've been oh, look- I got to say it. <laughs> yeah. They've been looking for these kids since September in Man. Idaho. But then I'm like, okay, well, that sounds horrible. Yeah, it's bad enough, yeah. But it started in July where Vallow's estranged husband was shot and killed by her brother, Alex yeah. Cox, in an altercation in their home in Phoenix. Yeah. At the time, they said it was self-defense. Yeah. So they're under investigation for that. In December, the brother died of unknown causes. Mm. And they're waiting on toxicology for that. Yeah. And then the kids Lori, go missing. Yeah. yeah. Lori moved to eastern Idaho with the kids about a month after her husband's death. Meanwhile, investigators just one county away were digging into a mystery of Chad Daybell's wife, who died of natural causes in October, which that doesn't seem like a big deal, but Chad and... Lori got married two weeks after his wife died. Oh, my God. So I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then people hadn't heard from the kids, so the cops reached out to him, and they said, oh, the kids went to live in relatives in Arizona. And then they went down, you know, they checked in Arizona, and they said, no, they're not here. And they went back to them, and the couple was gone. Great. So they found him in in Hawaii, and still no sign of the kids. And this this article was from January twenty eighth. Yeah, and they said that the parent, the grandparents of the kids have announced a reward for anything leading to the kids. Yeah, they believe that their kid, yeah, that Valo was murdered, mm. and that his Lori Valo had cult like beliefs. Mm. They also said that Charles Valo was so worried that Lori would kill him during their divorce that he sought a protection order. Oh my God. And then this part is what hooked me in even worse. Yeah. It's Divorce like a nightmare. Oh, it's fucking horrible. Divorce documents filed by Charles Vallow last February claimed that Lori believed that she was a translated being and a god assigned to carry out the work of the 144,000 at Christ's second coming in July of 2020. Oh my god. So apparently He's like, "Please save me from this woman." Yeah, and the new husband has some you know, similar beliefs, and I guess it's loosely based on the Mormon faith. And he didn't he he didn't get the kids away from her. Well, fast enough. who knows where know? they are? I you know. Um, I mean, it just sounds like he knew she was nuts at that point. Yeah. And well, then there was an <clears throat> article yesterday, February fifth, that yeah. said new details come to light about family members missing. Uh, so it's just pretty much yeah. it all gets summed up in one phrase. How many coincidences can there be? Yeah, um, and what it makes me think of, too, is, like, sometimes I I will run into people who will, they put too much on, you know, oh, but they have to see their mom or they have to see their yeah. dad. Like, that has to be qualified. Like, sure. if, if they are, like, crazy or they are yeah. into stuff that puts your kid in danger, it does not matter that, you know, you some people put so much onto it where it's like, no, they need to be around there their birth it's like no yeah like you earned being a mother or a fa- yeah. father you know like just being the sperm donor or whatnot like that in that case that seems like she's crazy yeah and well, she's he yeah. should have pulled those kids away from her and got the hell out of there yeah. you know well and then so you there's know? all this other stuff so like her brother who shot her husband yeah he ends up dead then he's dead yeah and now they've actually had to dig up the, her new husband's ex, you know, yeah. passed on wife to do an autopsy on her to yeah. see what killed her. Yeah. Apparently there's an insurance policy in there. In there's that, then they're in Hawaii. Yeah. So I guarantee you they're going to make a movie out of this at some yeah. point. Yeah. Um, and then there was security footage, apparently. There's video of Lori Vallow and another man taking about 10 trips to and from a unit carrying a heavy tote. So apparently mm. it was. Uh, they found the unit full of the kids' belongings. Dang it. So they haven't found anything about the kids. And this doesn't prove that they're dead, but it's not Why looking good. Why would they good. even do that? So, yeah. But then, of course, me being a shallow prick. Yeah. I'm like, okay, what's this woman look like? Because <laughs> <laughs> then you got to see it. <laughs> She's not bad looking. <laughs> she looks like, what was the name? On Sex and the City, what was the name of the slutty one? Kim Cattrall. Yeah. She looks like a young version of her. 
Oh, so yeah. like She's from uh, what was it? Mm. What was that one from the eighties? She was uh, in with um, Mannequin. Oh, she was in Mannequin. That's right. She but was she was mannequin. also she was also in Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah, yeah. So that's anyway, when she looked good. That I'm sure she still looks good for yeah. her age. Yeah. Even for younger or older, whatever. Anyway, I'm definitely intrigued by this, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's not a story about you know a movie yeah. about this in a couple of years. Probably yeah. Lifetime would start. Yeah. Because it f- sounds fucked up enough. Awful, man. So we are going to try and keep these episodes a little bit shorter. Yes. Uh, so they're not a fucking, even I don't want to listen to them when they mm. get too long. Yeah. Except when we have a good guest. Yeah. And then that's that worth it to go sense. longer. Or if we have something we're really into. Mm-hmm. Um, we are not really into Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. So if you have any suggestions or you just want to say hi, email us, the standupdads at gmail.com. And if you need artwork. Uh, go to Pencil for Hire, Pencil, F-O-R, Hire.com, or Pencil for Hire, Pencil for Hire on Instagram. And one of these days, he will update it. One day. Check, it won't be today. No. Check my... Maybe on Valentine's Day. That's just sad. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't want to have to come over here and fucking take the razor blade out of your hand. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not going to be sad on Valentine's Day. Either I'll be doing something with Oli, or if I don't have her, I'll go do something see a movie on my own and be happy and be like mm-hmm. I can sad. see what I want to see I just want to give you a hug now. oh my god uh, <laughs> it is not sad I'm like I'm paying for one I see what I want to see no I go to studio movie girl I can eat while I'm watching it's wonderful yeah. <laughs> Get my side project. I'm going to get in trouble if I say what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the gag on this podcast, it's run by Big Nick. We record every Wednesday at 530 at Blacktop Comedy Club. We interview local comics, have a great time doing it, and there's an open mic right after. And they have a sponsor. If you click the link in our show notes for Bag of Dicks and enter the code gag on podcast, you get 20% off. So I think we're going to wrap this one up. We will yep. talk to you guys next week. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. The thing I want to say is, thank you all for coming. Bye-bye.